Hello singers! Today we are going to read, as if we were speaking Italian, Nessun Dorma. Let's get started. Nessun Dorma. Ne sun dorma. The word nessun means nobody, and here in Italian we say uh, nessuno. But if we respect the rhythm of the melody, we have to pronounce a long e. This makes the word sound as if it had a different accent, like nessun. Nessun. Actually, if we say nessun dorma, nessun dorma, it doesn't really mean that we are changing the accent, we are just elongating one vowel that is not supposed to be long in general. But also because we don't have to pronounce a, uh, an S um, that sounds too much. So, if we need to pronounce a word and respect the rhythm of the melody, we have to consider, first of all, that we sing on vowels. So, if we have to do something long, it has to be a vowel, not a consonant, of course. And also, we have to anticipate a little bit the consonant in order to respect the beat that has to come. The beat is on the vowel. So, let's try and think Italian, okay? Nessun dorma. You try. Okay, again. Careful with that R. Dor, dorma, dorma. It's not easy because you have R and M together, very close. So, practice the R, R and then the M. Mm, and then rma, rma, rma. Then we add do. It's not do, do. It is do, do. The tongue on the palate a little bit, just slight movement. The, 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 the. Dorma. Dorma. Okay. Now we try and do it as it has to be sung. Nessun dorma. Nessun dorma. Last A of the sentence has to be pronounced A. A. Don't let the A become a A at the end of the word. Not even at the beginning. A is only A. Okay. Tu pure, o oh principessa. Tu pure, o oh principessa. Okay, we just have one A, which is the A. So listen to nessun dorma. Ma. Nessun dorma. Tu pure, o oh principessa, o oh principessa. Never forget that the A is an A, even if it is at the end of the word. We have here um, very interesting sounds, like pr, pr, pr. So let's practice the p, p, p and r, r. Pr, pr. Then we also have a e, which is more in front. It's not e, e. It's e, e. Very e. And e, we have to know how it sounds because it's when you are singing, thinking the right e makes the word more clear. Uh, so pri, prin. Mm, mm, mm. And here we have an M that is really helpful because it's so back, quite close to the nose. It's not a N, pri N, pri N, 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 N. It's not this kind of N, absolutely not. It is a pri N. Mm, mm, mm. In the past videos, I used to call it a nasal. But 
it is uh, very important to make a distinction between a sound that is really nasal because it is like uh, um, 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 uh, very nasal and a sound that is mm, in the position of a nasal. So a distinction between nasal and nasalization consider that it is there and it is very helpful um, for the technique for singing so this word may seem to be difficult to be pronounced but it is not Prin princi principessa try principessa try And again, let's consider that the sound of the word, the spoken word, is principessa. But when you have to pronounce a double and you are singing, you will always, always have to pronounce it shortly, even if it is a double, because the vowel will be the one you will sing, okay? Nella tua fredda stanza Wow, here we have a lot. Nella, n, n. In this case, we have the other n, 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 uh, an n that with the tongue on the palate. N, 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 n. Nella tua. Nella tua fredda. Nella tua fredda stanza. Here we have something that may be difficult. We have already practiced together the double D. Fredda, fredda. This suspend sound, uh, especially for the D's and the T's, is very difficult if we don't consider that the melody is on the vowels. But if we are just, we, we know that, all right? So it's okay. But if we are just uh, considering the spoken language, this fredda is a sound that stays there on the palate. Fred, can you hear that? Fredda. Of course, you will never sing on that. <laughs> Please don't do it. But you have to know how it is because even if you do fredda, fredda. Fredda. There will be a moment when you will prepare the D and it will sound as a double. So you just, you have to know Fred, Fredda. And also let's always consider that the beat is on the vowel, never on a consonant, okay? So you will anticipate a little bit the end of the consonant in order to give space to the A on the beat. Otherwise, the singer can have this habit to change the beat and the musicians get crazy, you know? Okay, let's try and say all this sentence together until fredda, because it's very hard. I understand there are many sounds that can be hard put together. Nella tua fredda stanza. Ne uh, sorry, nella tua fredda. And again, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Nella tua fredda. So, stress on the first E. Stress on the first E. Nella fredda. Nella fredda. Nella tua fredda. Nella tua fredda. And eventually, stanza. Stanza. Let's keep in mind the S is a S, S, S. St, st, st. Ta. S, 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 you. St, 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 you. Sta, 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 you. Stan, za, za, za. Never, za, never. Stan, za, 
It's like speranza. Okay, let's pronounce it all at once. Nella tua fredda stanza. And here we have lots of A, A's. Eh? Nella tua fredda stanza. Nella tua fredda stanza. You try. Nella tua fredda stanza. Again. Nella tua fredda stanza. Ok. Guardi le stelle. Guardi le stelle. You will happen to hear somebody saying stelle or stelle. So um, let's go and let's go back to guardi, guardi, guardi le stelle. Guardi le stelle. So here we have the stress on the A. Guardi, guardi. Guardi le stelle. It is when you have such a, a strong stress, then the, the syllable that comes next is a little difficult to pronounce. So be careful. Guardi, guardi. Rd, 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 rd. Try. Rd, rd, rd. Guardi le. Try. Guardi le. Guardi le, guardi le stelle, guardi le stelle. Che tremano d'amore. Ok, you could, feel, you could hear somebody saying tremano and somebody saying saying Tremano, because this it depends if we are from the north, from the south, from the east, west. So our pronunciations change a lot, and uh, native speakers, the native singers, they use their spoken language to sing because it makes the, their sound more natural, more spontaneous. Sometimes we do change our pronunciation, and because it makes uh, the singing easier, and it's okay. Um, the, the main thing we have to consider is that the meaning has to be understood and we have to have the meaning very clear in our mind, in our heart, but we also have to consider that the sound is very important, the technique, the position of the, of the vibration, everything. So we cannot uh, forget that. So if we need to change a little bit, the vowels, we can do it. Che tremano d'amore. Now, please don't say the double M here. It's not amore. Doesn't exist that. It is amore. Amore. Very simple, very easy. Amore. Che tremano d'amore. Che tremano d'amore. Let's skip the O. Che tremano d'amore. It's not amore, it is amore. Ok? E di speranza. E di speranza. Sometimes you can hear somebody saying speranza. <laughs> This happens too. Don't be confused. A compared listening of the many great singers, native singers, that you can uh, find easily on the internet is a very important practice for you to understand which is the better sound that fits to you. But what helps you is that you know how the language has to sound exactly, okay? Ma il mio mistero è chiuso in me. Here we have this, all this legato, so let's never bounce it. Ma il mio mistero è chiuso in me. 
A very good exercise would be that of stressing on purpose those uh, syllables. Ma il mio mistero è chiuso in me. And then try and leave any stress. It is as when, when we practice an instrument and we work on stresses, okay? So we know that the stress is there because the word has to pronounce like that. But when we have to sing that, we don't have to have any stresses that are not requested. So let's try. Ma il mio mistero è chiuso in me. You. Ma il mio, ma il mio, you. Ma il mio mis, ma il mio mis, you. Ma il mio mistero è chiuso, mistero è chiuso. È chiuso, c, 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 chiuso. In me. Okay, this word is written I am, and then you have another word, which is M, E, in, me. But when you put these sounds together, you will create an assimilation. And this assimilation is exactly a, a sound which is nasalize. So it is not exactly a double M, imme. It's not imme. It's imme. 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 So it's a little back. And uh, we often do it, and we are not really aware we're doing that while we speak because actually it is um, we are always thinking the consonant the m and the position of the n that's why it is so nasalize because it is back behind the nose as the n but thinking n m n m makes the sentence too slow slows down the pronunciation. So we just put it all together and if we consider exactly the position of where we have to make our sound resonate, it, it is perfect to make a, a, just one sound that is perfect for the pronunciation, is perfect for the, the voice. So in, in me, in me. It, it becomes just one consonant, one. It is hmm. It is kind of a double M, but it's not a double M. It's not M all here making the the lips vibrate. It's not that. It is close to the nose, obviously with the vocal tract that is open and that resounds perfectly with a good breathing. Okay, so ma il mio mistero è chiuso in me. You try. In me. Il nome mio nessun saprà. And in this case, nessun is pronounced exactly as we do while we speak, and the stress is on the you. No, no. Here we can find um, different uh, opinions about these two no. But if we have to take care, because if we say, well, it is supposed to be no, no, okay, open, o. Oh. But if we say, no, but somebody says no, 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 but if we say no, no, it means something completely different. It means I don't have, io non ho, no, no, 
And this makes no sense here. So if you listen to singers doing this, like Mario del Monaco, Franco Corelli, Pavarotti, Bocelli, they all say no, no. Del Monaco makes a little pause between the two O's. No, no. So if we can hear one of the two O's a little close, it is because of the copertura of the sound. But the pronunciation should be no, no. Okay, and careful, don't say a double N here because no, no. <laughs> it is his the granddad, so don't say no, no. And uh, it is no, no, or no, no, it can be. Okay, and always we can say that no, no is the correct pronunciation. No, no. It's too close, no, no, it's too close to open and it makes a, a different pronunciation. So careful, even if you need to make copertura on the first no, don't do it too much, don't close the o too much, okay? No, no, sulla tua bocca. Here we have vowels that makes our mouth close so uh, repeatedly. So, sulla tua bocca. Sul. When we think of the melody, of course, we think, we don't hear that. Isn't it true? You don't hear sulla tua bocca. You hear sulla tua bocca. Right? Sulla tua bocca. Wow, this is hard, but this is what you have to do because of the melody and of what is written on the, on the paper. So we have to respect what has been written by the composer. But we have to know how it is when we speak. So it is sulla tua bocca. Sulla tua bocca. When you will sing then, you will say sulla tua bocca, right? And then sulla tua bocca, always a, 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 double C, and then the beat on the last A. Lo dirò, lo dirò. Quando, quando, here we have another M that is nasalize. Quan, quan, mm. you cannot say quando, quando. It sounds old. So, lo dirò quando. Mm, mm, mm. La luce, la luce. Splendera. Splendera. Let's say the whole sentence together. No, no. Sulla tua bocca. Lo dirò quando la luce splenderà ed il mio bacio ed il mio bacio scioglierà il silenzio che ti fa mia Ed il mio bacio scioglierà. Here we have this sound that is really hard. Y, y, scioglie, scioglie, scioglie. 
Careful with the sound sh, sh. It's very sweet. It's not sh. <laughs> Sciogliera. Sciogliera. Il silenzio. Or il silenzio. Che ti fa mia? Che ti fa mia? Then the people of Peking, the, the choir says, Il nome suo Nessun saprà Saprà E noi dovrem Aime or aime we would say aime, but you can hear aime. E noi dovrem aime morir. Morir. Last R's are always rolled a lot. Cor, morir. Dilegua o notte. Di legua o no te open o tramontate stelle tramontate stelle Let's say it again. Di legua o notte. Careful with the articulation of the vowels. It is very important to focus on the vowels. So, so, so let's try together to say di legua o notte only with the vowels. Let's try. I e wa o o e. Careful because you have a closed o and an open o. Very close. I e wa o o e. You try. Again. I e wa o o e. This is very interesting also singing. You may try. And now, now we try again with the consonants. Di legua o notte. You try. For the double T, we have to practice a little bit, keeping in mind the idea of the suspend sound, which is a non sound, a silence. So you stay there, not thick, but with the tongue on the palate, just keeping it silent for a while and waiting like a suspense not te so di legua o no te of course it will be the o the vowel you sing and the t will be very short but if you want to make the difference in pronunciation between notte, which means night, and note, which means the note that you sing, you have to keep in mind that note, note has just one T, while, while notte has that suspense sound that can also be very short. Notte. But you understand that it is not notte. Can you hear the difference? Let's keep in mind the two different words. One with double T and the other with single T. Not T. Let's do it with long O, which is the, the thing we do when we sing. Not T. You have to, um, to, to stop phonating for a while because the T is a stop in phonation. You don't phonate there. So not not and just put the tongue. It's it is very hard for singers. 
So it has to be such a very short moment. But the vowels are, what we um, um, just practiced before is um, a whole sound. The whole melody is on the vowel and there are just a little moments when we sometimes stop the phonation using T's or D's, this consonant is stop phonation. Other consonants are not stopping, are not uh, stopping phonation. So it depends on the consonant. But in this case, we have a little silence, a moment of silence. So we know that the D has to be done with the tongue on the palate uh, waiting. You don't, we don't have to make it, um, to, to make an effort with our throats and change phonation because of that. It's just a moment of silence. So keep very uh, sure on the vowels and just stop phonating for a while, putting the tongue there because this thing makes you sound, makes, makes the sound of the double T instead of no te. Okay? I know it can be, it can seem to be hard, but it is not. Just practice it. No te. No te. Tramontate stelle. You try. All'alba vincerò. All'alba. In this case we have A-L-B for the word alba. And it really sounds like a double L. It's okay. All'alba. You try. Vincerò. All'alba vincerò. Vincerò. Okay, I really hope you found this video useful. I thank you very much for watching it. If you need some special areas, please ask. I will do it for you. And uh, if you want to comment, we can uh, talk to each other. If you need personal vocal coaching about Italian diction, you can contact me by email and we can meet on Skype. If you want to support my project, you can on Patreon and PayPal. So let's keep in contact. We have a lot to do together. I'll see you soon. Good singing, everybody. Bye-bye.